Hey everyone, we're making a series of videos available to you to learn Amazon EC2 with 10 labs and 20 facts and refreshers for your exam. The full course is available on YouTube. It's also available on Udemy. You can check the links in the description below to view the Udemy link. This course is produced by Cloud Yeti. We make simplified cloud computing, AWS, and DevOps videos. You can contact us by emailing us, checking out our GitHub, visiting our website, or following us on LinkedIn. I'll be the presenter for this course. My name is Saurav Sharma. I am seven times AWS certified. You can support us by helping us reach 5,000 subscribers. We're currently around 3,300 and reaching 5,000 is very important to us. So if you want to support us, start by subscribing to us. And you can also watch our other content, uh, buy our courses on Udemy, etc. We're adding a lot more content, so we're open to feedback, suggestions, and requests from you guys because we're making these videos for you guys. All right, now let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is lab nine. And in this lab, we will be using the CloudWatch agent to send Apache web server logs to CloudWatch. And we'll look at the logs in the CloudWatch management console. So we'll build on some of the things that we did in lab eight, where we installed the CloudWatch unified agent. We just need to reconfigure the agent to you know, work with logs and collect logs sent from our Apache web server. So let's get started with the lab. The first step for lab number nine is we need to install the Apache web server and start the web server so that, you know, it starts generating some logs when uh, someone tries to access the web server. So I'm going to copy the command that will install the web server. And we've done this, uh, you know, in labs earlier. I'm going to copy this command, go to my EC2 instance from our previous lab and paste this command and install the web server. So I've you know, entered this command already. Now I need to start the web server using this command. So I'm going to start the Apache web server. The web server is started. At this point, I go to my EC2 management console and I go to my EC2 instance, right? I copy the IP and go to that address on my browser. I should see a page that says, you know, Amazon Linux AMI test page, uh, which is shown by the Apache web server, right? So this is the web server landing page. So this should generate some logs now. See, I've clicked this uh, four times. So if I go back to my terminal, and use this command sudo cat for view this file a var log httpd access log this is where apache saves the access log so if i copy this command go to my terminal and paste this i'll be able to look at all the logs uh, generated by the web server these are some of the logs generated by my web server so these are some of the logs generated so far so what if I want to send them to CloudWatch? I can use the CloudWatch agent that we installed in lab eight. So we need to reconfigure the CloudWatch agent with the wizard again, right? So I'm going to copy this command to bring up the uh, configuration wizard. Which OS are you planning to use the agent? Linux, so enter for default choice, EC2 for default choice. Uh, do you want to turn on stats D? No, so two. Uh, collect D? No, so two. Do you want to monitor any host metrics? Uh, for now, you know, I'm worried about the logs. We already demoed metrics, so I want to say no at this point. Two, do you have any existing CloudWatch log agent? Uh, I want to say no. Two, do you want to monitor any log files? Now in here, I want to say Yes, so the default choice is one, so I just press enter and the log file path. Now this is where I enter the path of the log file. So this is the path on step number three. So I'm gonna enter this path, enter. 
log group name, you know, the default choice of access log is fine, enter. Log stream name, instance ID, that's fine, enter. Uh, do you want to specify any additional log files? For now, no, so I want to say two. And do you want to store the config in SSM parameter store? No, so two and enter. And the program exits. Okay, so once I configure the wizard, I need to restart the agent. And I come to step number five, copy this to restart the agent and paste this and the CloudWatch agent should be restarted now. So what we did so far was we reconfigured the agent to collect logs from the Apache log file location. And then we restarted the agent. Now we wanna go back to this web page, the default Apache web page and generate a couple of logs by, you know, uh, refreshing our page, right? So one, two, three, four, five. So this should generate a few log entries in the log file. And you know, those log entries should be sent to Amazon CloudWatch. So if I go to services and click on CloudWatch and under logs, there's already an entry for access log and the instance name. And I can see, you know, all the log entries that is tracked by the Apache web server. And in fact, I can one, two, three, four, five. So five more entries and the entries are, are already there, see? So it's pretty quick. The entries are, uh, they are fairly quick. There's a few more entries coming in. So, you know, this way you can send your logs from your EC2 instance to CloudWatch. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. So with this, you know, we've come to the end of this lab. Now, as always, we need to do some cleanup. So I'm gonna go to EC2 and I'm gonna delete or terminate my instance. Terminate, yes, terminate, and I'm good to go. So this concludes the lab. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lab.